So I wake in Vegas, and I jump in a caravan that's heading east. The two-dimensional desert quickly transforms into a classic western scene with tall plateaus of baked earth. And in under two quick hours, I find myself in Utah, nestled in the idyllic town of St. George. We stop at the funky chic Avenir Hotel whose characteristic lobby and finely appointed rooms will wow the most astringent traveler. A on it to their exceptional resto would Ash Rye, a seasonal farm-to-table powerhouse that does everything a little bit better than the rest. Plus, every dish seems to come with a fresh-baked biscuit, so bonus points there. The town is situated in the most beautiful landscape you could imagine, and comes complete with an outdoor amphitheater that would challenge Red Rocks in Denver for location. Continuing on, we make a quick stop at the unique Under Canvas Moab, where they take glamping to the extreme. We were on a different vibe though, so we send it a bit higher to Angel's Ledge, where these were waiting for us so that we could do this. This, my friends, is what's known as a Via Ferrata, or Iron Way if you please. It was created in the Alps to help transport troops over the Dolomites, but climbers here in the States started building these rungged walkways across rock faces to give anyone the thrill of the film Cliffhanger. Before I knew it, I was transversing the gorgeous Utah outback, visiting painted caves, and hooking into one-inch steel cables to play Spider-Man in the most beautiful natural setting that I've ever seen. The experience is mind-blowing. Perhaps not the greatest for acrophobics, but definitely not as intense as you might think to earn views like this. This is a must-not-miss activity, and the fact that it was built by Ian Crow, the father of Via Ferrata here in the States, you are truly walking a legendary trail here.